everyone the class and welcome to our SPAG lesson on Monday the 1st of February. So a new month. Let's see what we are learning about today. So we are learning how to start sentences in a variety of interesting ways and we're going to be using the tusk fist fish as a way to help us to do this. So I'm just going to read you the clip description before I play the clip. So the colourful orange dotted tusk fish, also known as the anchorfish, can be found in the warm waters of the Indian Ocean near Sri Lanka. Living in the reefs there, it can grow up to 50 centimetres long. There are many different types of tusk fish, several of which have brightly coloured markings such as uh, the harlequin tusk fish. In this fascinating clip, an amazing snaggle toothed orange dotted tusk fish can be seen throwing a clam against some hard coral. He does this in an attempt to crack it open so that he can feast on its fleshy contents. Dropping the clam repeatedly whilst trying to open it, the tusk fish shows determination and perseverance by not giving up. Will he succeed? Let's watch the clip to find out. Okay, so let's see what we're going to be looking at in today's session. Let's go to the grammar bit. So here are some of the things that you can complete in today's lesson. So read the four sentences opposite. You will notice that they each start in a really interesting way, which are highlighted in bold. The first sentence starts with, with an L-Y ending adverb. The second starts with an I-N-G ending verb. And the third sentence starts with an ed ending verb. The fourth sentence starts with a simile. Don't forget that a simile is, the, is a descriptive tool that uses the word as or like to compare one thing to something else. So number one, speedily, the tusk fish swims to its underwater kitchen to open the clam. Number two, throwing the clam against the coral, the tusk fish tries to get its food. Number three, smashed against the coral, the clam shells eventually breaks apart. And number four, like a hammer, the tusk fish hits the clam repeatedly against the coral. So see if you can have a go with replacing the words speedily, throwing and smash with a different alternative. So have a go at writing out some of those sentences. 
Here is a did you know that the stunning harlequin tuskfish usually has eight pairs of alternating orange, blue and white bands on its body and prominent sharp blue teeth. Did you know that? Here are your whiteboard challenges. So you've got three challenges which I want you to have a go at completing today. Now remember, you can go onto this website uh, yourself and actually do the activities from here and then send the pictures onto Tapestry. So have a go at doing these. You've got um, challenge one, which is starting with a verb ending in ing or an adverb ending in ly, copy and complete the first sentence. Challenge number two, copy and complete the second sentence that starts with a simile as stubborn as a mule, the tusk fish and continue that. Challenge number three, using some of the descriptive words from the word wall, write your own scintillating sentences about the tusk fish featured in the film clip. And finally, as always, as I bring this up, there is a extension challenge. If you would like to try it, you can um, have a go, have a read. You don't have to do task number four, but it's just there if you would like to. So there we have our activities and I look forward to seeing all of your SPAG work on Tapestry. That's all from me today and I will speak to you and see you all in the next lesson. Bye everyone.